Big area over here that we're kind of watching, not so much for us, but for the East Coast. They'll keep an eye on that. Here is the area, the Invest 94, that we've been talking about. Now a very high chance of developing again to a depression or a tropical storm. Doesn't look like it'll get much stronger than that. But notice that it will kind of hug the coast of Mexico and then southeast Texas. And models in decent agreement, even the ones that curve it around, kind of bring it at least pretty close to the Texas coast. So that may kind of disrupt whatever organization it's able to get tomorrow or the next day. And that's because of this high which will be retreating. So it's kind of interesting to see this would be potentially the low pressure area associated with the disturbance. And we may see it come up and then head inland somewhere near southeast Texas or southwest Louisiana and then wrap around really just to the north of southeast Louisiana. So we're still going to get rain even though its path looks like it will stay just to the west of us. So just showing you this particular model, for example, it's in the Bay of Campeche right now, not developed, but the European does bring it right into southeast Texas. Heavy rain potentially for Houston, and this would be late Monday night or early Tuesday. Exact timing could still change, but look what happens. It kind of wraps into Louisiana and brings some heavy rain around the low pressure center. Even this model is showing into Thursday. So that's why we're expecting that chance of rain to really jump up tomorrow. Not raining all day tomorrow, but we'll have the downpours in the area and then staying pretty high. And right now the latest models have potentially Wednesday, maybe the uh, highest threat for some heavy rain and the rainiest day overall. We'll see, but you can see that the rain chance does stay elevated into the end of the week too. The purples and reds are two to four or so inches of rain, and I've been checking the individual models as well. That's what they're saying right now. However, keep an eye on this. We'll continue to show this in the next couple of days because this could change a little bit as it hasn't even developed yet. Also a high, uh, much higher total is expected for Southeast Texas and Southwest Louisiana. And even tomorrow, some of those areas Unfortunately, with some of the worst damage from Ida around home at Thibodeau toward the coast uh, has the little higher chance for some flooding rain with a marginal flooding risk tomorrow. Looks kind of similar into Monday and Tuesday. Not everyone, but at least a few isolated areas with that much rain over a few days might see a few flooding issues. So that'll be the main thing we watch for.